We're kind of treating it almost like a DVD film. Yeah. So right off the front, there'll be you know an animated screen here, but you get a choice of whether you want to start the game or if you want to go to DVD content. So we've been recording all of our making of stuff as we've been making the game. Oh, really? So all of our, you know, uh, we do a thing on the process of making the tracks. We've been recording all of our voice sections. We've, you know, all the new characters are pretty famous people, either actors or musicians. Really? We've got really neat characters in there. So we, this is all, it's about 45 minutes of, of behind the scenes making of stuff. That's awesome. It's kind of cool. I think this one works now. Just give you a little glimpse. So kind of, you know, it's not primetime TV, but it's if you've liked the game and you played yeah. it, it kind of gives you a little bit of understanding how we build the game and how we design it. So again, you can play in race or show off, mm -hmm. but now when you go and play in show off, what you're getting is you're at the same location, but we're resetting the course. So there'll be all sorts of jumps, rails, oh, cool. different paths open, so a shortcut. So a uh, track and show off plays completely different than it does in race. I'll show you a race, then I'll show you a show off. Okay. So the first track is a new track, it's called Garibaldi, all new. Um, Snow Dream's second track now. Snow Dream's been pretty extensively reworked. Elysium, we've added about maybe 14 new shortcuts. And we've also, it's not as obvious, we've fixed a lot of things that weren't right. We've, a lot of things that the rhythm was kind of screwy on. Uh, Missa Blanca, big rework. We actually spent more time reworking tracks per track than it took to create the new tracks. But we're really into the idea of you're coming back a year later. Ice Jam's got a bunch of new shortcuts, way better rhythms down it. Parts of it that feel completely different, new shortcuts. Pipe Dream we did a lot of work on. Untracked feels like the same location, but maybe another face. It's a lot more bumpy, a lot more drops. Megaplex is completely reworked. So now you look out over, it looks like the walls got blown out, you look out over Tokyo, and it's got four levels to it. So the bottom level is kind of the same experience. Then you've got all these rails and chutes that you try and stay up on. And so you gotta, if you fall down, you gotta kind of work your way up, and then up, then up. And then Alaska is an all new track. It's our last track, and it's by far the wildest track, by far. Another thing that's new is every character has relationships with other characters. So like, my character does not get along with Luther. So what that means is if I get in there and I push and shove Luther, I push him once, he's gonna get pissed off. I push him twice, he's coming after me. And he'll chase me down. He'll chase me down and he'll knock me down. So, and if somebody is a friend, well, they won't go after me. Or if I push a friend, if I push a friend too many times, they're gonna get kind of pissed off. At first, they're gonna be like, hey, what's up? I push him two or three times, they're gonna be like, you know, forget you, I'm coming after you. This is the first track in the game. So you'll see as you come around the first corner. So I can also now build up my boost by pushing and shoving the other characters. I'm gonna take a shortcut over here. This is a big shortcut once you find it. And the good one about the good thing about this shortcut is once you make it down, your your boost is maxed. So now my boost is maxed. Now I can do what's called an Uber trick. You see the tricky thing lit up? Now you'll also start to hear the tricky song bumping in. So now I can 